Hey guys, this is Venom with Exile Existence, and today is just a little quick video on what I think, um, what I think can be done to further improve No Man's Sky. These are my, uh, I guess, tips and tricks to the developers on just my ideas on how to make No Man's Sky better. Now, I'm recording this after, of course, Pathfinder update has come out. They've already had two major updates. They had the Foundation update, which gave us space building. Um, you know, it was a major thing there. They gave us the cargo ships as well. Uh, they had Pathfinder just came out recently, which in further increased on base building. Uh, gave us some cool new parts there. Gave us the ability to own multiple ships. That's a big one right there. And also added in the currency and sw uh, the currency of nanite clusters, and completely switched up how you get um, how you get your blueprints. So you can actually buy them. You got a much better chance to get them. I actually got most of my blueprints in about two days now, versus just randomly having to find them wherever I went. So, so far I like the way No Man's Sky is going. Regardless of what controversy it may have had in the beginning, and there's nobody, fan or not, um, can't deny there was controversy from all sides uh, when this game released. But I think this is a rare instance where a developer had a controversial release, but they're actually taking huge steps to improve it. I think the only thing at this point people really don't like so much is the fact that between these updates, the studio essentially just goes dark. Um, that's a stark contrast to Sean Murray, who used to tweet like 18 times a day on what was going on, but I do believe that the, I do believe we can forgive them somewhat, I think they are working their asses off to bring us these updates, and they have been pretty substantial updates. <clears throat> now, that being said, where can they go from here? And here's the basic grind of playing No Man's Sky, and it, regardless of what we've gotten, this is where it still is as far as a grind. Uh, you start your game, you gather resources, you essentially sell everything you can to upgrade your ship, you upgrade your tools whenever you can, you're always looking for cooler looking ships or ships with more slots is what you really want. Um, now that we have multiple ships, that's a little bit, we don't have to worry so much about keeping a ship that look, looks cool versus trading in for a ship that has more slots. We can do both now. Uh, we can own multiple ships and we can have multiple ship classes, but um, where does that take us to, actually? Uh, it puts us into the grind of having to constantly grind out more and more money, uh, essentially building a farm at some point if we really want to get the top tier stuff as far as the you know, 48 slot cargo ship, 24 slot weapon, um, 48 slot ships. Uh, it really takes money. It's the easiest way to do it. You can try to find down ships now, but the cargo slots on them are broken now, and you have to Re you have to repair them, and that repair takes money. So at the end of the day, no matter what, you need money if you want to have a 48 slot ship. So, here are my ways to make No Man's Sky better, considering the grind that we have. So, first and foremost, with any game this size, where you gather money and gather resources, there has to be a money and resource sink as well as a good way to make money and these resources. Now let me tell you what I mean by that. Right now with the grind that we have, eventually once you actually get your 48 slot ships and your 24 slot weapon and 48 slot cargo container, now you're in a position where you've still probably got a ton of cash and nothing to do with it, so at this point there's no reason to really make any more cash. Uh, same thing with resources, once you've got these things, all you really need to do is just make warp sales. Um, keep your life support going, your weapons charge, and just keep traveling. We need a reason to keep gathering resources and keep making money. So with that in mind, that's where these next tips are going to come into. Um, first, and for, or first and foremost, and I'm not, this is not a scripted show by the way, this is me just going you know, unhinged, but um, first and foremost, in the lower tier, the tag button for crafting. We need a real use for that because right now it's really just kind of useless. There's no reason to tag anything once you you know play the game for more than an hour. You know how to craft things. There's no reason to have that tag button. What it needs to be turned into, or what they need to add into, is set up a system to where if you tag a recipe, you can then just use one button in your inventory to create that item. For example, uh, lubricant has been the you know biggest selling item hands down for making money, the biggest farming item. Granted, it's been nerfed in the Pathfinder update, however, it's still something people do. So set it up to where you can tag a crafting recipe, and then, like, say, hold square or hold that tag button in your empty slot, and it'll craft that item. That's not a bad idea. Then you don't have to keep going into the 
into the menu, switch to the page you want, and then craft item. It'll speed things up pretty much. It'll speed things along. I think that'll be a great low tier way to help with crafting and money making. And it is very unintrusive. Um, again, that's low tier. For the higher tier, again, we need money and resource sinks. We need a way to make money as well as things to do with our money and the resources. And that's when what they've already built comes into play. With base building and the Pathfinder stuff, I think they've shown that they can easily add in machines that can auto-harvest, which they do. They have auto-harvesting machines, although it's debatable whether or not they're worth anything. But auto-harvesting auto machines for your farm, for your plants, auto-collecting for your plants, auto-crafting machines to craft items from what is gathered from those plants, and auto-selling. Now, what this would look like would be something along the lines of what you may find in some modded Minecraft. Now, I don't know how many of my viewers, you know, play in Minecraft. My wife and I play it a lot, and we usually play on modded servers. Um, anyone will tell you one of the basic things to do, whether you're playing a magic mod or a technical mod, is that you're going to be making machines to help you along with what you're doing. So, imagine something like this. You've got your base, you've got your farm. Just imagine whatever setup you've already got. Imagine being able to craft, or better yet, even hiring our aliens that we have on our bases to for, do all these things for us. So as it stands right now, I've got all the farm items unlocked. Okay, so my farmer essentially is just sitting there with nothing to do. Imagine if we can do another quest or two and set it up to where he can then auto harvest all of our crops for us. Okay, so instead of us having to be there every six, seven minutes to get our grown crops, he will harvest them for us and then he will store them in either our containers we already have in our bases or into a special storage unit that can then be used to craft other things or someone else can use them to craft them. So here, here's about the, the line of machines or the line that I'm thinking of. So our farmer will collect our resources after doing more quests. Our, let's say, our technician would craft items into whatever we want so we can specify, hey, we want this to be crafted, constantly craft these from the items that are collected. And then we can say have our, I don't know, our exo or, you know, our machine or I can't even think of where we're at now. Uh, essentially just have one of our other aliens sell the items or have like an auto sailing or auto sailing ah, I cannot speak today. Auto selling uh, terminal. What this would essentially do is once you've got your farm set up and you go through these quests and get your collection and crafting auto set or automation set up, you will then constantly have money coming in at a constant rate. Now uh, of course, we would not want to make these things easy to get. We would want to make these machines hard or even set them up for tiers. And making machines hard to build is not something that you're going to find as a problem with most of the community because most of the grind for No Man's Sky and its players is grinding out hard things to do. Again, 48 slot cargo ship is a very grindy thing to do. People aren't going to mind doing that, and I think they would appreciate it more if they have to grind out rare resources or put these parts that we have to make or that we have to sell into good use. So say, I don't think people would mind so much if we had to have like, you know, 50 lubricant, you know, 100 acid, whatever, to craft these machines, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a problem for anybody. I also believe that you can also make certain tiers of machines too, and here's what I mean. Um, say for the first tier of the selling terminal, um, let's say that your guy can only sell uh, so much money worth of items, you know, per hour or per 30 minutes, whatever you want to set the timer to. Um, let's say, like, the first step is you can only make 100,000 credits at once. Okay, great. Tier 2, we send you on a quest after, let's say, you make a million doing this. You unlock a quest to unlock the Tier 2 selling terminal. Um, from there, you can make, you know, a million an hour. And then you unlock the Tier 3, and it's 10 million an hour or something along those lines, and the tier 4 would be like, you know, you can sell unlimited, whatever you have to sell, you can sell without an issue. I mean, you know, 10 million is pretty high up there as it is, in 10 hours, if you got an optimized system, you can pretty much buy whatever you want. But that's what I'm thinking, you know, having certain tiers, adding in more quests, you know, more linear quests to unlock these items, and then putting into use our guys are basically just sitting around on base, not doing anything anymore. 
again, this gives us more time to go out and explore. We can actually, you know, hop from station to station, gather up blueprints, you know, look for ships we want, that kind of thing. And then we don't have to divide our time between just grinding out boredom and getting carpal tunnel syndrome, collecting items in our farm. Now, again, eventually this would get us to the point where, yeah, it'd be new crest or new quests. That's great. Eventually, we would again have our 48 slot chips, and then we would just have tons and tons of money coming in. That brings me to the second one. So the first one, this first, I guess I should say, the first thing was the tag auto craft button. That's my first suggestion. The second one was the machines with tears. So that's my second one. The third one is going to be, well, the third and fourth, I should say, is going to be the weapon crafter and the shipyard. Now, follow me with this. As of right now, yes, we can own multiple ships. Your chances of finding a ship with 48 slots that looks the way you want is next to nil, okay? Imagine the systems along these lines. You have a shipyard built. You do some quests, you can build your own shipyard. That shipyard allows you to create and customize your own ships. However, it wouldn't be something to where you just had everything a lot to begin with. To make a ship or to use certain items, you actually have to find a purchaser ship and break it down at the shipyard. So, let's say, for example, I find, you know, some little scout ship that I like a lot, you know, some little fighter ship, and I like its design. I can take that to the shipyard and break it down and then unlock all those individual pieces to use in crafting a ship. And that means... You know, after so many ships broken down, you can then create more ship slots. You know, let's say you break down, you know, 20 ships or whatever, you know, or 20 slots. You know, for every, like, five slots you break down, you can put one on another ship or something. You'd have to balance it out, essentially. But the real thing here would be for the ship skins. Now, you notice that ships of similar design, they essentially just have pieces on them that are mixed and matched. Sometimes you see some that you like, sometimes you see some that you don't like. But imagine being able to take these ships, break them down and then use those pieces to create your own customized ship for every class. Think about that, that'd be awesome. And again, use these, this new system where we have items auto-harvested to create these ships as well. Give us a use for the items that we're making. I mean, once you have your shield and health terminals, once you've got your galactic trade terminal, there's not really a whole lot of reason to have these individual parts once you have everything built. But we can still craft these things. Let's do something besides sell them. Let's use them in our shipyard. So make the shipyard itself need so many of a piece or so many components to build. Make the individual pieces of ships need certain components. Make it to where you have to have so many components or so much money combined to add on additional slots to your ships. You know, that kind of thing. The same thing would also go for the weapon crafter. It wouldn't be necessarily a shipyard, but I've run into quite a few different weapons. I ran into my first S-Class weapon the other day. I've got an A-Class rifle with 24 slots. The only S-Class weapon that I found was a 10-slot pistol. Well, it's an S-Class, but there's no way I'm going to trade in my A-Class rifle that's fully modded out for a little S-Class pea shooter. And as the system stands right now, whenever you find a new weapon or ship, it's not that it's one or two slots over or under what you already have, it's just completely random. So the chances of me finding an S-Class 24 slot weapon, I mean, for me to upgrade from what I've got already, I essentially have to find the absolute perfect role, I guess would make sense. I have to find the absolute perfect weapon that's S-Class, which is hard enough to find as it is. But again, and I'll even give you a name for all this. Call this the, the Planet Builder update, or the you know, Starfire update, or even the Shipyard update, you know, call it, you know, along those lines, but I think this would be a really good way to, one, bring more people back, because one of the main things people hated was, you know, the ship grind, the money grind. Well, now we've got a way for them to automate that and to actually use the resources and money that you would make to, you know, buy ships or make your own ships. Or ship customization is one of the main things people want in the game. I think this would be a great way to implement that. So um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, do you guys agree with my assessment on what can be done? Do you guys have another idea? Let me know down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I got more videos coming out here daily, um, or 
as soon as whenever I can. I don't want to say daily anymore because I've got kind of playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn the other day. I'll be doing my review on that here next. But um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.